All right, Michelle, um, I'm going to try to record another one. Uh, again, I think it's a little easier to show um, than it is to try to explain. Um, uh, so I, this is an illustration of what I was trying to get out of the email. So for me to do 11, 6 times 7 quarters, I want to make sure the students are okay with this. And again, it's just to visualize it. So how do I show 2 times 7 quarters? So this would be two groups of 7 quarters. So I want to first show my 7 quarters. So I've I've got two, two areas that have been partitioned into four, and so I want to show seven quarters. So there's one, two, three. Perfect. There we go. So there's seven quarters. I want to get two groups of that, so I quickly just copy that, paste it. There they are. Two groups of seven quarters. And so now, uh, I want, I can see how many quarters I have. I actually have 14 of those quarters. So there it is. I've got the answer. The answer is 14 quarters. So what I might want to do now is kind of show, okay, what else is this equivalent to? How else can I show, how can I show what other fractions this is equivalent to? So one thing I can do is just cut it in half. So I might do something like this. I might say, you know, if I cut every quarter in half, in half, so cut this one in half, that one into two equal pieces, and so on and so forth, all the way down. I should extend these all the way down, actually, right to the bottom. And stop at just the shaded ones. Um, so now I've chopped my area up into what type of fraction. Well, these are now eighths. How many eighths do I have? I've actually got, I've doubled them. I've got 28 eighths. So this is equivalent to, I could write that out as, this is the same as saying I've got 28 eighths. Okay, what else could it be equivalent to? So I'm just going to pause here for a sec. Okay, so what else is 14 quarters equal to? So I might say, oh, you know what? I could have partitioned it instead of into two equal pieces each quarter. I maybe could have partitioned them into, oops, into say um, four uh, or three equal pieces. Let's say that. So if I partition it. Let's see here, I'll try to do my best. There's one, two, so I'm going all the way down. Do another one. That looks pretty good. There's three equal pieces for each quarter. So I'm focusing in on each quarter, dividing it into three pieces. I know I'm going all the way down for the entire area, but each quarter is being chopped up into three equal pieces. That one doesn't look quite as good as the other. And then the last one there. So what's the equivalent fraction now? Well, I've got twelfths that were created. And so how many twelfths do I have that were created? Well, I have three times as many. So this would be equivalent to saying equal to, um, this would be the same as say 42, 42 uh, twelfths. And so I've I've shown that 14 quarters is equal to 42 twelfths. So I might go one step further and actually say, what would have happened if I partitioned these into six? So I'm just going to pause here and do that. Okay, so I took a, little, uh, a few seconds and I, I, I chopped up all of the uh, uh, my area into each quarter into six equal pieces. So my area is now divided vertically into six. Uh, into six. And so what is this equivalent now? Well. I've got six times as many as 14 quarters, so this would be equivalent to 14 times 6, which would be 84 over 6 times 4, 24, right? Because each one of these little squares is 1 24th of the entire area, so I've got 80, uh, 84 24ths, which is an equivalent fraction. So I would want to start with that, because once we kind of know that, then it'll be an easier transition to do the 11, 6 times 7 quarters, which I'll do on the next page. Okay, so um, again, I've demonstrated that 14 fourths is equivalent to 84 20 fourths by taking each of the quarters from my 7 quarters and chopping it to 6 equal pieces. And, and so there we have it. So now, now that I've kind of got that, hopefully, Students have a firm grasp of that, and they've demonstrated that they can see it. Um, let's move on to 11 times 7 quarters. So, 
I would want to first start with saying, okay, what does seven quarters look like? So I want to draw that out. So quickly coloring in. There's three quarters, or four, five, six, and seven. So again, if we wanted two groups, we repeated that. And so I don't want two groups. I want eleven six. So the first thing I want to make sure that my students would know is that you know this is definitely more than just one whole because six six is a whole. And so if I had six six of seven quarters, I'd have exactly what I'm looking at right here. This would be equal to seven quarters. Five six would be less than this. I did. I, just in terms of actual area, it would be smaller than that. Now, 11 six is bigger than one hole, so I'm going to have more than what I've got here. So I want, would want to go back to, well, what would what would one six look like? So I I want to see that. Okay, like let's think of what one six times seven quarters would look like. How would I demonstrate that? Well, I'd want to take my seven quarters. Okay, these are seven quarters and chop them into six equal pieces because I want to see what one six looks like. So it might look like this. And so I've partitioned each of the quarters into six equal pieces. And so I want to know what one sixth of that area, seven quarters. So remember, you got to understand what seven quarters are being represented by. Seven quarters is this entire space. So I'll just maybe draw. It is this entire area. That is seven quarters. I've divided those into six pieces now. So what does one sixth of it look like? It is one of these. There's one sixth of the seven quarters. So how much is that? How much is that? Well, I want to know, notice that I've chopped them all into these equivalent little squares. So what fraction of the entire whole is that one little square? Well, I could see I've chopped them into 24 of these equal little squares, and that's 1 24th. So how many do I have here? 1 6th of it would be 7 of those 24 pieces. So this would be equal 7 24. So we, along the same lines, if I had 2 6 I'd have two of these strips, if I want to think of it like that, of 7 quarters. And 3 6 would be, and so on. So what would 11 6 look like? Well, I'd have to continue this and go past one hole because I don't have enough to show 11 6. I've only got enough to show 6 6 of 7 quarters. So I need more. I'm going to pause here. Okay, so now I want to show 11 6 because, again, 1 6 is one strip. So 11. So I'm just going to kind of tick them off as I go along here. So I've got, that was 1 6, 2, 3 6, 4, 5. There's 6 6, which makes one hole, I'd have all seven quarters back. But I gotta keep going because I've got now seven six, eight six, nine six, ten six. There it is. There's the eleven six. So I'm going to kind of circle that last one as well. Okay. So how many? Remember, I want to count up how many twenty fourths I have. How many of those do I have? Well, each one of these has seven twenty fourths. So I'd have seven times, and since I have eleven of them, seven times 11, which is 77 24. Another way to count them is just to think of, well, I've got 24 here. I've got how many here? Well, there's 6 plus 6 plus 6. There's 18 here. There's how many here? Uh, well, don't forget, I don't go all the way to the end. I stopped at that 11. So there's actually only 20 here because I didn't actually include this last, this last 6. I'm short of 2 by 1 6. So there's 20 there, and how many here? I've actually got 15 here. If I add up all these numbers, 24, 20, 18, 15, you'll see that I actually do get 77, 24, which is our solution. So again, I, I want to kind of always go back to their understanding of what multiplication means. And since I this one's a little tougher because the improper fraction, the first improper fraction, that 11 6 implies I have more than my whole, okay? And so that's why I might want to start with a whole number multiplied by that seven, just so that they understand that you have more than your whole. But since the, the first term here is an 11, 6, it's an improper fraction. It'll be more than a whole, but not, not an entire other whole. So it's not 2 times 7 quarters. I'm just short of that 
So in this case, I was short of it by one six. Hopefully that helps. It's, I know it's a little tougher, um, but it, I I think it's it, it's again if um, if you understand if you kind of understand what the meaning of multiplication is, um, you know the groups up, groups up, groups up. Even with fractions, it makes sense, and even with improper fractions, it makes sense as long as you kind of break it down and you see it like that. Hope that helps.